All right, this is Willie from Long Island Marine Salvage. We have a, uh, a 2003 or 2004 Chris Craft 33 Express. That's what they're calling it. And you can see he hasn't uh, waxed the hull or anything, but here's, here's the thing about it. At first glance, it looks like a complete boat. It's good and all that, but then when you start looking, you say to yourself, how did that happen? Look at that crack, right? And then you realize there was an explosion in the engine compartment of this thing. And you can see the hatch blew off. All that stuff blew off. And when I go down there, it's got two carbureted Volvo Penthes. They're not, they're not MPIs or anything. They're carbureted. They're not even fresh water cooled. So. Uh, but it's got that sliding door thing. And, you know... I don't know where the windlass is in this, but it should have a windlass anchor, but I don't, I don't see one. Anyway, it's, uh, I started looking at it, because the guy wants me to sell the parts. He wants me to bring it to my yard and sell the parts, but the problem is, is that there's a lot of water in the engine compartment, which I will show you in a second, but I just want to show you, if you look at that side... And look right, start right down there. You can see how that looks like the rub rail slid down, but that's not the case. The entire top half of the boat blew up and separated from the bottom half. And you can really see it right there. I mean, that thing is just, um, yeah, that thing blew up. So, that's kind of crazy. So, if anybody's got a 33, 2000, and, they said it was a 2004 have to get under the swim platform to see what that says. Uh, it's a Chris Craft, which is a really good model boat. We used to have those in the Miami Vice series. We always had Chris Crafts. But the only thing I could see here that I could really sell is the windshield. You know, I mean... But the side blew up, and it blew up there too. So that broke. So just imagine, he said a guy lit a cigarette, there was four people in this boat, and it exploded, and that happened while they were on it. Now, one guy's got a broken leg, and he was way in the back, and they said he was back here. And you could just see what used to hold the engine hatching compartment. That's what he was standing on. And you see the hinges blew out. And, of course, he's got the open bottle of wine, and he said he had his blowers on. So it looks complete, and everything is, uh, you know, in order. But, you know, he, he wants to sell parts of this boat, bring it to my yard. I just don't know. I mean, it's just too big of a boat. I'm on Long Island. Real estate's at a premium. And... You know, even that's faded. So, so he's talking about the, the, the electronics, but they're, come on. They're, you know, and when I looked in the engine compartment, I'm just going to take a quick video of this for the mechanics. Um, excuse my video skills. He says, well, it's got a Westerbeek generator. And I said, well, that's good. You know. Uh, and But look at the motors. Look at the salt on there. And you see that paper on top of that alternator? That only gets there when something's underwater. So these motors have basically been underwater. You see how he's got that spigot there to rinse them out? They're not fresh water-cooled motors. They're not MPI motors, they're carbureted. So there's really not value there. And quite the explosion happened in here. But that's, I just wonder what it was. And he doesn't seem to know. And this guy had no insurance, which I don't know here, running around with a $45,000 boat with no insurance, but you know, it's only a thousand a year, 1500 a year. Uh, but this is why you have insurance. Ice maker. Mayor has some Heinekens. 
See, that's full of water. I don't know if there was ice in there. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to leave this marina. This is in Huntington, New York. And I got a friend that needs a Bimini canvas. But this one's, eh, it's a little torn up. Anyway, that's that boat. One more video down the side. It's got that Garmin dome. I gotta find out just how far underwater this thing was. Uh, but you could just tell the guy didn't wax the hull. The guy didn't. It was not a well kept boat. But if somebody's looking for a windshield for Chris Graff Express Cruiser 33. 33 Express, rather. Uh, there's a windshield. I know they're really hard to find, boat windshields. Like that. It's got some decent controls. And what I would consider a very, very cool. Look at that. Blew that. Can't close that because that whole thing blew sideways. Check that out. But that's a cool gate. Even though it says Chris Craft on it. It's still a pretty cool, cool thing. Uh, that's my video. Inside is nothing to write home about, but it does look dry. All right.